Sorry to dash him one more, yeah. All right, well, uh, tip of the day. I, don't, I didn't do one yesterday. Um, not sure why. Maybe I didn't have a tip. <laughs> um, I don't know, actually. It was because it was so darn early in the morning or late at night, wherever you wanted to call it, about 4 a.m. that oh, I just uh, couldn't go on any longer. Anyway, um, tip of the day today is don't assume. When you um, get to a business, it's late. If you're delivering late at night and you get to a business and a restaurant, rather, and it's all in darkness, when you get out, doors are locked, etc. Um, don't always assume that no one's there. Don't just get straight on a DoorDash or Uber Eats or whatever. Call the restaurant. Um, they may well be in there waiting on you. And it's actually happened a couple of, two or three times of us like that. Um, well, maybe a few more than that. But it happened a couple of nights ago. I uh, had an Uber Eats order. It was a stacked order. And... I didn't, first of all, I didn't want to waste my time if you've been getting a hold of Uber, Uber's support to say this restaurant is closed. That's what you're trying to avoid. Because you know darn well you're going to be on the phone for about 20 minutes. Well, maybe Uber's a little bit better than DoorDash, but anyway. So try to avoid that. Do what you can to avoid that. Especially with Uber Eats. Uber Eats don't pay, they're not like... Um, DoorDash. If you've got, let's say you get to the restaurant and it's closed and you don't go any further that you just report it closed. Well, first of all, if there is someone in there waiting for you to arrive and you report the restaurant closed, then you could get in trouble for that. Um, even though it's all closed and locked up out, outside and it's all in the darkness, just give them a call. There's an easy button to... Uh, there's always a bank button in, in the app to on the offer page where you can click on to call the restaurant. And if that doesn't work, failing that, just go to the Google... Go and look it up on Google and then call them from that. Either way, there's ways of doing it. If no one, knocks, if no one uh, answers the door there, then just do that. They may be in the back cleaning. Anyhow, like I said, it happened to me the other night. We went to uh, Gus's Fried Chicken, and we were like five minutes away. It was a stacked order, and um, which I thought I was picking up two from that restaurant, but turned out only one was being picked up, and the other was at 54th Street, which I really didn't want to do. But anyway, but... Um, but yeah, so I just gave the restaurant a call when I saw that. And uh, they answered answered with very quickly. And um, so they answered up and I said, oh, it's Ray from Uber Eats and the driver. And she went, oh, you're here to pick up the last order. And I went, um, maybe. <laughs> and uh, I said, no, actually, I said, it told me that there was two of them pick up. And yeah, she says, oh, I'll bring it out to you. And I recognised her voice. I'd, I'd dealt with her a few times when I'd gone in there. And they're really good at this Gus's fried chicken, by the way. If you're in the Lee Summit area questioning whether you want to go there to pick up, go there. Because they really got it. They're really good on dishing out the orders there. And I've only had to wait one time there. I think it was like five or ten minutes. But they were there packing it all up and they had a lot going on. So just sit your ass down and just wait for it. Just in full Google, uh, Google Uber or uh, DoorDash through the app to say that it's being made, but still being prepared. And, you know, just just sit your ass down and wait. And, um, and anyway, especially if it's paying well. I mean, if it's paying well, you you can afford a bit of time to sit down. And if you if it's a stacked offer, and you've got to go on to another restaurant, well, that gives the other restaurant a bit more time to if you can get that that order 
figured out for you to go pick up. But if not, I mean, just sit there and, like I said, just report to uh, uh, DoorDash, etc., saying that it's still being prepared, and just wait, just wait, and then maybe inform the customer too, um, if it's over the time for when you're supposed to pick it up by, just uh, hit on that saying, uh, just text the customer somehow. There's a button, always a button on there to contact the customer. Send them a text and just say, you know, uh, the restaurant is is a bit behind. Uh, they're very busy, whichever, but I'm uh, I'm waiting here and I'll be with you as soon as I can. Something along those lines. And they may respond to you and some don't, some don't respond, but most of them do. Anyway, so like I said, just give the restaurant a call. Even if it's in darkness, just give them a call. I mean, unless it's a stupid bloody tech arse bill, um, then uh, that clearly don't want to work. Then uh, choose what you do with that one. There's so many fast food places that just want to uh, give up for the evening or don't have staff that turn up or... Whatever, there seems to be an awful lot of problems at like these uh, so-called fast re fast food restaurants now. Seems that somewhere along the line they've lost the uh, meaning of fast food, and it's uh, get it when when we're uh, when when we've uh, we've done it. <laughs> that sort of line. Anyway, so always give them a call. And that way, I mean, someone could be waiting in there. We've had it at um, Sonic before. Um, we've had it at a few restaurants, but Sonic for sure, we've had a cut with him. Because there's someone may wait behind to for you to turn up. If they know that you're getting coming along, they'll see you on the app. If it's one of those uh, restaurants that actually looks rather than just goes, that nah, shit, they ain't coming, and just go. But if they see that you're coming along, they look on their app. I don't know, actually. I'm sure they can see where you're coming along. And uh, if they know you're coming, then someone may wait. But always call. Cover your own arse and that. And plus, I mean, you don't want to be losing out on monies. I mean, that one that I said that I was doing, the stacked off uh, uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? One of them. Oh, uh, yesterday. And, um, I mean, that total job, I mean, I'd done, I think it was like 24, 25 miles on that one. And there was two offers, and it was due for, I think, a, uh, I think it was around about $35, 34 $35. It actually turned out to be another $10, $12 above that. So, yeah, just... You don't want you don't want to miss out on money, so, and you're after. And if you've accepted the stack offer like that, that is going to be a lot of miles. You really don't want to be just uh, dismissing that one, especially if it's Uber Eats. Uber Eats will more than likely just give you three dollars for missing that one, and uh, you have to move on to the next one. This reminds me, I've got to check my DoorDash to see if I got paid on that that one. They that half pay. But um, but yeah, and if that's the thing, if it's a DoorDash offer and the restaurant is closed and you report it closed, then most of the time they will uh, give you half of what it was due, which would have been a nice chunk of change for sure on that one for not having to do a lot. But it was, um, but again, I mean, if you report it closed and there's someone in there waiting, then you might get yourself in a bit of bother about that with a DoorDash give you a violation or something and if you do it too many times apparently you can uh, get deactivated because basically i guess you're committing a fraud but even if the place it looks all dark <laughs> but anyway always cool it uh helps you certainly anyway uh thanks for watching and uh if you enjoyed the video hit a thumbs up please and, of course, uh, hit the subscribe as well if uh, 
you want to receive uh, part being a part of the Dash and Womble community. And hit the bell icon too, that'll uh, warn you when the new videos come out. Alright, well in the meantime, um, I know the job can be a bit daunting first of all, but it's fun. It's a fun job, you get to see lots of things, you get to see some stupid things, you get to, it, it's just different. Just remember that you're not at, at an office all day long or a warehouse or a shop or something. You don't have a uh, manager breathing down your neck, giving you grief. And um, you're basically your own boss and you have to motivate your own ass to get out and do these things. And But it's fun being out there. You get to see different things. You get to see things that probably you've never seen before in your own, in deliver, in your own town somewhere or if you like me and you you uh, drive to another town to go do do deliveries because you prefer it away like me uh, um then you know you get you just get to see new new stuff it's quite interesting at times anyway uh thanks for watching and uh i'll be back on here sometime soon all right cheers ta-da